Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to wire a circuit sch um, schematic on a breadboard. And this video is in particular for you if you have never seen this stuff before. And I know it can be kind of tricky when you're, you know, you, you look at a schematic and then trying to translate that to a breadboard, it can be kind of tricky. So I'm going to teach you a very systematic method for going from a circuit schematic to a physical breadboard circuit. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually build this, this simple circuit here. Um, we have two LEDs, a green LED and a red LED, and we're going to be able to toggle them on and off. So one will be on and one will be off depending on the position of this switch. So it's a simple circuit, but it will allow me to illustrate uh, this method for wiring circuit schematics that I think will make things fairly straightforward. So the first step to wiring a circuit schematic is to go ahead and get all the components that you're going to use for your circuit and identify each component uh, with a symbol on the schematic. So for example, here we have a symbol for a switch here. And it's important that you get the physical switch out and make sure that you understand which pin corresponds to which pin on the symbol here. So for example, the, the pins here, one, two, and three on your switch correspond to the pins one, two, and three on this circuit schematic symbol. In the same way, we have your LEDs here and the order of the pins on an LED do, do matter. So the lead here, this shorter one, that's called the cathode. And you can identify it by noticing a little flat spot on the LED. And that tells you it's the cathode. And that corresponds with the flat spot here on the circuit schematic symbol there. The other lead is called the anode and it's typically longer. But the definitive way to tell which is the anode and which is the cathode is to look at this little, this little flat piece on the, the LED. With resistors, the order of the pin, pins does not matter. So here's our circuit schematic symbol for a resistor, and this is a physical resistor there. So go ahead and do that for all your components. You also want to do that for your Arduino Nano. Uh, find the pins that, that are connected in your circuit schematic. In our case, it will be the five volt pin and it will be the ground pin.